Hello. Once again, it is Tuesday and story time with Teacher Cole. For those who don't know me, my name is Teacher Cole, and I am the owner of TeacherColesEnglishCorner.com. We are an international group of teachers who love to teach English to students in a fun and unique manner. Sometimes we do this through science, cultural studies, or social studies as well. But today we are going to read a very fun Halloween story as we get closer to October 31st. So for those of you who don't like Halloween stories or your children are easily frightened by skeletons, this might not be the story for you, or you might want to watch it first and then decide if it's appropriate for your children. Today, we are going to read a fun story about a skeleton who likes to dance with his friends. So let's get going, shall we? Halloween Hustle by Charlotte Gunnafson, illustrated by Kevin J. Atterbury. You're invited to a fabulous Halloween party, hosted by Ghost. Midnight, October 31st, 1313 Shade Lane. Dance contest. In the dark, a funky beat. Something white with bony feet. Skeleton dancing up the street, doing the Halloween hustle. Bony thumbs and fingers snap. Bony heels and toes tip tap. Knees knock knock and elbows flap. Doing the Halloween hustle. Skeleton twists his skinny hips, shakes his shoulders, skates and skips. On a crooked crack, he trips. Bones scatter. What a clatter. Spine is like a broken ladder. He sticks his bones back into place, adds rubber bands just in case, gets up and grooves with ghoulish grace doing the Halloween hustle. He swings around the bus stop sign once, twice, then gets in line right behind Frankenstein doing the Halloween hustle. Climbs on the bus, can't find a seat. That's okay, he finds the beat. Shuffles and scuffles those bony feet, doing the Halloween hustle. The big bus zigzags through the town, zooms up hills, then cruises down. Every monster for miles around is doing the Halloween hustle. The bus slows down and then it stops. Skeleton leaves with three high hops, leads the others to the shops doing the Halloween hustle. Skeleton buys a snazzy hat, a jazzy jacket, to go with that. But in his path, a big black cat. Bones scatter. What a clatter. Spine is like a broken ladder. Skeleton doesn't groan or whine. Binds his bones with tape and twine. He bounces up, feeling fine, doing the Halloween hustle. In fancy clothes, the monsters go to the party in a row. A funky, freaky fashion show doing the Halloween hustle. The ghostly host greets each guest. How do you do? You're so well-dressed. Just in time for the dance contest doing the Halloween hustle. 
Monsters move on through the door. Jump and jive out on the floor. Spooky judges hold up scores for doing the Halloween hustle. Skeleton shimmies, swings and sways. Bebops as the music plays. But zombie's foot gets in the way. Bones scatter, what a clatter. Spine is like a broken ladder. A skeleton girl with a friendly smile sweeps the bones up in a pile. Skeleton, hey, in just a while, you'll do the Halloween hustle. She uses a bottle of super strong glue. You're fixed forever, just like new. Hey, I'd like to dance with you. Let's do the Halloween hustle. All the monsters cheer and clap. Bony thumbs and fingers snap. Bony heels and toes tip tap. Doing the Halloween hustle. Well, this has been the end of our story today. Do you like to dress up for Halloween? How about having some dancing with friends? I hope you have enjoyed today's story. I love Halloween and enjoyed it very much as a child going trick-or-treating in my fun costumes. I hope you have a safe and happy Halloween as well. Join me next Tuesday where we have another fun Halloween story. And as always, feel free to join our Facebook group, Teacher Cole's English Corner. I look forward to seeing you next week. Goodbye.